Welcome sa sip9.com. Uh, in this video ay pag-aral natin kung paano ba kunin yung area ng parallelograms, no? So, kung makikita niyo yung sa inyong screen, uh, meron tayong parallelogram. At uh, konting review lang, no? Ano ba yung mga properties ng parallelogram? Uh, the opposite sides are parallel, no? So, this side is parallel to this side. Also, the length of this side is also the same as the length of this side. So, kung gruwent itong dalawang ito, magkapareho sila ng length. And also, the length of this side is congruent to the length of, or this side is congruent to this side. So, opposite sides are congruent. Pareho ng length ng opposite sides. Pareho ng angle, no? Pareho ng angle yung opposite sides or pareho ng sukat ng angles. Then, opposite na ito at saka itong angle na to ay uh, congruent din o pareho rin ng sukat, no? So, if this is our parallelogram and we call this the base, no? so yung segment na to gawin natin base, we can form a height by uh, uh, putting a segment from the opposite base to this base, no? such that the segment is perpendicular to the base. So, pag perpendicular ya, yan, ay pwede natin gawing height ito, no? So, pwede naman tayo maglagay dito ng height dahil pareho din naman yung length nito tsaka yung length nyan. Basta perpendicular sa lahat pareho. So, this is our height. No? This is our height. Okay, so... Okay, pag in-extend natin itong base, no? Pupunta dito, no? And also, pag nag-drop tayo ng line dito, which is uh, perpendicular to the base. Kung mapapansin niyo tong triangle na to at saka yung triangle na to ay pareho, no? Or ibig sabihin, para silang congruent. Um, Mapaprove natin yan using SAS, no? Um, using triangle congruence. Pero hindi natin masyadong i-discuss dito. No? Uh, kung gusto nyo, tignan na lang natin the figure na to here. No? Mas madali siya makita pag mayroong grip, no? Uh, kung mapapansin ninyo, uh, ito ay isang rectangle at this one is half of this rectangle. And also, pag ginawa nating rectangle ito or pag uh, nagdap tayo ng line pag rectangle dito and half din ito nung, nung rectangle na uh, half of this rectangle is also this vacant uh, space here. No? So, illustrate na lang natin kung congruent nga sila. No? So, pwede siya, di ba? So, ano nangyayari pag ginawa natin to Well, ang nangyayari is that ang nangyayari dito is that uh, yung ating original shape na parallelogram naging rectangle siya, no? So, pwede natin siyang gawing. So, this, this original shape became this rectangle, no? natin red. So, ano ba yung common doon sa dalawang shapes na yon? Kung makikita ninyo, itong part na to, no? itong part na to, dito, ay nilagay natin sa part na to. So, these two parts are congruent. No? So, ibig sabihin, yung original base and the new base, no? from here, gawin natin kulay, gawin natin red. So, from here to here, tignan nyo yung red, ha? ito yung base, bagong base natin. Ano masasabi nyo dyan? This, this, the original base and this new base is actually congruent. No? So, pareho wala lang bang nabago. And of course, nandun pa rin yung height natin. No? And from the previous videos, no? alam natin that the area of, area of a rectangle, is equal to the product of its length and its width, diba? And from here, makikita natin that the area of the rectangle is actually equal to the area of parale the parallelogram, no? So, area of rectangle is equal to the area of Parallelogram. Bakit, bakit sila equal? So, kita nyo naman sa ano natin kanina, sa illustration, no? 
wala naman tayong wala naman tayong tinanggal, wala rin naman tayong dinagdag. So nilipat lang natin tong triangle dito sa kaliwa. Dito sa kanan. So wala tayong dinagdag dun sa figure, wala din naman tayong binawas. So ibig sabihin na conserve yung area niya, tawag natin yung conservation of area, no? Pag wala kang tinagdag at wala kang binawas, pareho lang yung area no, no? And from here, no? Sa new uh, new rect uh, new shape natin yung yung rectangle, no? So equal siya sa Ano na ngayon ang area ng rectangle? Sabi natin length times width. But here the length is actually equal to the base, no? So base times the width, no? Ang width natin dito is yung height natin, no? So ibig sabihin the area of a parallelogram a parallelogram is equal to the it will equal to its base times its height. So ito na yung uh, formula natin sa area ng parallelogram. Okay, I hope uh, this makes sense. Pwede tayong mag uh, gawa ng isang example. Some work example. So if this is the this is a parallelogram yung ating um, base ay uh, 5 centimeters, no? At yung ating height ay, uh, for example, 3 centimeters. So the area of a parallelogram, of this parallelogram area is equal to uh, 3 centimeters times 5 centimeters, which is equal to 15 uh, square centimeters. Okay, so ganun lang, no? So... From here, nakikita natin na pwede pala natin i-derive yung area ng parallelogram using area of a rectangle. I hope meron kayo natutunan dito. No? Invite ko kayo sa sipnayan.com. Puntahan nyo yung site na yan dahil dyan nakalista yung ating mga videos. No? If you want to, if you want to um, watch more videos. At ang maganda kasi pag pinuntahan nyo ito, makikita nyo yung pagkakasunod-sunod. For example, ng area tutorial series natin. Makikita nyo dito sa sipnayan.com yung uh, derivation ng mga areas from one another na yung sunod-sunod na pagkakaderive. And of course, if you're in YouTube, pwede kayong uh, mag-subscribe sa ating YouTube channel. Click nyo lang yung subscribe button below the uh, video. Okay, so maraming salamat and see you in the next tutorial.